So, art fight. That lovely time of year where most artists you know go into hiding to create ridiculous amounts of art in a month. Yeah, I, I did that. Hello. <laughs> If I'm being completely honest, I haven't made a properly edited YouTube video in a good few years and it's been even longer since I've made one with a voiceover. Hopefully this is somewhat entertaining. But anyway, back to the topic of the video. My first order of business this art fight was to revenge a friend for an attack that they made for me literally last year because I just didn't really participate um, in anything for art fight last year. I did one attack and called it a day. I'm not sure why. Um, the last few art fights in general just haven't been very productive for me, but this year I was determined to be different. I had all my references prepared, the characters I wanted to draw bookmarks, and like, I was still at college when art fights started, so I was drawing this in three periods, like I was committed. And then I finished two attacks and said never again and forgot about the whole thing until the end of the month. But we'll get back to my bad time management later. Anyway, this character was really fun to draw as much as it was absolute hell getting the right pose. And she had an interesting backstory, which always makes me want to draw a character. This character. I picked her above some others because I thought the colour palette would be interesting and also I love drawing goddess-like characters. But it was close, I had a few other characters bookmarked from this person. Obviously I ended up picking her. I love drawing her cape with the little patterns and also the little crystals on her outfit. But this was also a revenge and this person drew my avatar OC which was the first attack I received this year. They captured her vibe so well and I was ridiculously excited about it, like literally everyone who DMs me somewhat regularly saw it that day. Immediately after this, I was out of college and kind of didn't want to do anything art-wise. And England was having a heatwave through most of July, which is always great for motivation. Either way, this is a very fun and well-designed character and I'm glad that I picked her. This was another character that was really hard to pick out. I think I ended up just randomly picking one because they all seemed fun to draw. I was just getting back into art and then this person had drawn my scar and I have been following them on TikTok for a very long time. I was like, holy shit, I need to revenge them like right now. And this was also when I found a new line art brush. I don't know why, but I just decided to play with a new one and I love it so much. Like, looking back on these videos, I think this alone is where my art kind of improved throughout Art Fight, which is kind of stupid, but it looks closer to how I've always wanted it to be now. Back to the actual character, I had to research Clef Lips a bit, as he has one and I wanted to draw it correctly, but apart from that, he just has a very cute and interesting design and it was nice drawing something I'm more familiar with, like just a little headshot. Oh, and I had to add little moths in the background because they study them and I thought it was cute. Tim! I had to draw one of his characters. It was absolutely non-negotiable. I love them. I love their designs. The scrunklies, dare I say. And there goes the total of two viewers that were watching this. No, but these guys have been in my bookmarks for so long and I also wanted to try some animal attacks because I never do those and I need to practice. And also Tim drew Jasper and Faulkner, which is so sweet and I love seeing them together. Tim is actually one of my players for the D&D campaign that those characters are from, so, you know, he knows them well and the drawing of them just makes me sob every single time. Legally, I was obligated to also draw two characters and I am so unexpectedly proud of it, like this is probably my favourite attack that I did. I just like how the fur looks and I feel like the pose is really cute and I don't usually draw animals at all but after this I realised I can draw them decently and I can draw them quickly. And this was in the last 24 hours of Art Fight so that's exactly what I did. So this and the next few attacks that you will see were all done in 24 hours while I rewatched Harry Potter. I don't know what possessed me, but thank god that it did. 
Also, if you notice the reference sheet being upside down, sorry about that. Um, that was me trying to draw Soren correctly, and I did it mostly with the canvas flipped. But yeah, I'm glad that I did go with animal characters in the end, because Tim does have some human ones up, and I think it was a nice challenge. This is a revenge for somebody who drew my warrior cats OC. I loved it and I wanted to draw some more animals, so she stood out. I'm not gonna lie, the only reason that I added Crowthorn to my list of characters was because I knew that people would draw them, because they're a cat. Don't tell anyone. I like the little decorations and they were fun to draw, but also the colours. Like, they're just so soft and cute. This also took way less time than I expected, which added to my mindset of like, holy shit, I can do so many attacks if I just draw some furries. And I wasn't wrong, but I just think that she's very cute and I'm happy with the final drawing. Kinda reminds me of how I used to draw ponies back in my My Little Pony phase, so do with that what you will. Another person who drew Crowthorn. I absolutely loved Frostfern, just from the floppy ear and tail and the leaves in their fur, I just thought it was adorable. This was also when it was starting to get late and my cat was sitting near me and she started licking her paw and I was like, you know what, I'm drawing a cat licking its paw. Said cat is absolutely unhinged and we adopted her after our neighbours had treated her badly and she kind of just ended up living on the streets for a while. But she lives with us now. She's a little bit stupid, but it's okay because I love her anyway. Which is what my family say about me. I feel like the proportions are a little off with this one, but the fur was still so fun, and also the leaves. She just looks really soft, and I think the fur does look long, even though it's not super clear in the actual lineup. So I'm pretty happy with it anyway. This was another attack for a friend and I wanted to mess with colours which is why I chose Rin. Immediately I was thinking about pushing the neon colours and stuff since I never really do that and tend to go with softer, warm colour palettes. This one is also just a headshot since I have basically no experience drawing Anthro characters and I was also getting close to the deadline, but they were so interesting to draw. He just reminded me of the scene fashion stuff that I grew up with and it made me happy, so Bryn. <laughs> I was watching The Goblet of Fire also, which is a really random bit of information to remember, but it was late and I was tired, so I went to bed at this point. And there it is, finished. I wasn't actually expecting to like this when it was done, I was drawing it and I was like, oh my god, I want to restart, but I'm actually quite happy with it. And here it is. The final day. Doomsday. Except as I'm recording this, the team results haven't actually been released yet, so it doesn't feel very final. Either way, I woke up and I wanted to get at least one more attack done to make it even, and I thought this character's design was beautiful and could be really fun to draw. I'm not going to lie, 90% of this was just me experimenting with brush strokes and line art, but I'm happy with it. And some of this has definitely affected my art style going forth, so it definitely feels like Art Fight was worth it this year. The person who owns the character has also left a really sweet comment, and I literally had to take a moment to respond to it because it made me so happy. I was basically crying. But yes, this is my last attack. I will link everybody's profiles in the description as well as any music credits that I need to add. I hope everybody who participated in Art Fight this year had a great time, and if you didn't, I hope it was awful. No, but genuinely, if you're watching this and you got this far, I hope you enjoyed it and you're having a good week whether you participated in Art Fight or not. As a final note, sorry if I don't post regularly or my videos aren't super consistent, that's about what you're signing up for if you subscribe to me. 
I change interests very quickly and also tend to forget that social media exists, so, you know. I will try though, I'm just not 100% sure that I'll be able to do voiceovers like this often, I'm back at college in September and, you know. If you want to see my art in the meantime, I post mostly on Instagram, but either way, thank you for sticking around. See you next time I decide to crawl out of my hole to post.